Do you, uh, it's a silly question to ask perhaps, but, um, and a bit of a Russian one. It's silly because you're young, but I don't think it's actually silly because you're young. Do you ponder your mortality? And are you just afraid of death in general? So tying us back to our uh, previous conversations about abstraction versus uh, experience, which is determining our, our notions of our life and our, our world, death is interesting in that it is obviously hyper important to a person's life and it is something that for the most part no human will really experience and uh, be able to um, to reflect upon so our notions of death are sort of proof that if we want to make the most of our lives we have to think abstractly and uh, relying not at all at times on uh, experiential uh, thought and understandings because we can't really experience death and reflect upon it hence and use it to motivate us. It has to remain some sort of abstraction. And I think if we have trouble comprehending uh, true abstraction, we tend to view our lives as, you know, we tend to view ourselves as nearly immortal. And I think that's very dangerous. So one concrete implication for my belief in abstraction would be that we all need to be aware of our, our our own deaths and we need to we need to understand concretely the the boundaries of our lifetimes and no amount of experience can really motivate that it has to be driven by thought and and abstraction in theory that's one of the deepest elements of what it means to be human is our ability to form abstractions about our mortality versus a animals. I think there's just something really fundamental about our interaction with the abstractions of death. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of philosophers uh, that say that that's actually core to everything we create in this world which is like us struggling with this impossible to understand idea of mortality. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm drawn to this idea because um, both the, the mystery of it, but also just from the human experience perspective, it seems that you get a lot of meaning from stuff ending. It's kind of sad, the flip side of that, to think that stuff won't be as meaningful if it if it doesn't end, if it's not finite. But it seems like resources gain value from being finite. And uh, that's true for time, that's true for the deliciousness of ice cream, that's true for love, for everything, for music, mm -hmm. and so on. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it seems deeply human to, to try to, uh, as you said, concretize the abstractions of mortality, even though we can never truly experience it, because that's the whole point of it. Once it yeah. ends, you can't experience it. Yeah.